But preceding all that is this dream of, of the Sulam, of, of this spiral staircase, which I believe is in another level of, of Torah learning is the DNA strand. And I, I really, I think that's important to remember. Which actually, when it's represented, it actually looks like a ladder, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, it's a spiral ladder. Yeah. A DNA strand looks like a, looks like a spiral ladder. It has rungs on it, you know, and, and it has four angels, which, which are the four uh, nucleotides. And the, the thing that I think is so amazing is this precedes the story of all the children being born. To, to these two wonderful matriarchs. And it, because they, the, the, the angels are ascending and descending, and they represent these components that make up the DNA of the future uh, tribes of Israel, that, that it shows that, that, found, that foundation that it, there on the foundation stone, that's where he's sleeping. He's, sli- he's having the dream while his head is resting on the very foundation of the world. But it, yet it's connected to heaven. And I think it's telling us that these, these children, these 12 children, represent the spiritual DNA of the coming nation of Israel that is connected directly to heaven. And that it's, it's also connected to, because in another way, uh, the, the gematria of the word sulam and the word Sinai and the, word ha, and the phrase ha-kohanim as are all the same gematria, one, three, zero, 130. So this connects the idea that this nation will be a priesthood. And I think that just, it, it, I don't think people realize it takes us right into the, the, the birth of these children and why they are so important to the world.